Okay, welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a beautiful ship which has been submitted to me by Gaia-san. His link will be in the description to his shipwrights blog. And uh, we're just going to take a little look around the exterior here. I'm currently using a modified texture pack which he sent in with the ship. And uh, it really is beautiful. It puts in quite a few little details in um, which are really nice touches. So as you can see, we're going to be moving around the outside now to the left-hand side of the rear of the nacelle. It's got a nice few pieces of detail which I want to draw attention to. Obviously, we've got the red lights on this side and the green lights on the other side. Uh, the hanger at the back there, as you can see, we've got that green light coming down the right-hand side. On the outside, we've got visible thrusters. On the inside hey, edge, uh, yeah, just doing this review. On the inside edge, we've got this uh, sort of nacelle coming right down the inside. It's got ice. So you can or water, I don't know. Basically you can see through and you can see the reactors in there, which is a really nice touch. Going inside you can see we've got visible reactors inside each nacelle, which is a really nice touch. Coming down to the hangar now. So we're gonna go around the body real quick. Just sh to show two things, the portholes, which are part of this texture pack, and the use of pentas and tetras. Um, coming down now to the uh, uh, Deflector dish, so there we have the deflector dish, a lovely use of lighting, kind of inset, a little bit of a, a crystal I believe it is, maybe water, like I say, you get a nice spread on the white hull. Come back around the other side now, you can see the uh, airlock in the neck, so we're going to come down now into the hangar. So moving through, got a lovely little hangar with some uh, updated shuttles, as you can see, using the Pentas and the Tetras. And this is going to be the first example of one of the modified textures which we're going to have a look at. As you can see we've got the ship core with the Federation, <coughs> it's beautiful. And then we have these Star Trek style panels which we have uh, quite prominently at the bridge section of the uh, shuttle. So moving on we've got this lovely little section here which we can move through. So over the left hand side we've got some space here, got a lovely little section here we can look through. Nice. So coming in, we've got a little lobby area, I guess. I'm not quite sure, but got some turbo lifts, I think. So look, yeah, no. Airlocks. We've got the airlocks inside as well as in the top there. So let's go through this, this level here. As you can see at the top, we've got what looks like a warp drive area. I'm just going to go down here and take a look at this. This is really nice. Really nice touch. Let's see it from here. Really nice warp core. And all the way up. <coughs> no, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I like that with the with the uh, I've seen that before, but it looks really nice. Staged beacons in the conduit. So coming around here we've got more engineering section. It's beautiful. Place. And just here we've got some uh, missiles, so here we are with the missile system and photon torpedo launchers. Kind of to this airlock, as you can see, we've got these beautiful turbo lifts throughout the ship, which are perfect jumping distance. Really loving these portholes, such a nice touch. Just works really well. So obviously we're coming up here, moving around the front, so make sure we should be sensing. Up the turbo lift, around and up the turbo lift again. As you can see these turbo lifts are really, really pretty. I'm gonna move forward now. Looks like we're coming into yeah, we're in the neck. So now we're gonna move up. As you can see, these turbo lifts are really awesome. Lots of fun. Portholes. Coming up again. Now we can go here. Right, now we're in the saucer. So moving forward, as you can see, under the dish. Let me go up this one first. See where we go. Here looks like we've got uh, living space, crew quarters of some kind. No, no. Med bay. This must be med. Uh, this must be the med bay. Omega's in here with me. So I think this is the medical bay, isn't it? 
I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it is, because there's quarantine or something over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh look, there's a ship core flying around. <laughs> so here is the yeah. uh, core of the ship with the faction block above. Very nice. Lovely choice of texture. Just gonna take a little bit around here. So, uh, straight to the back. And out of the side. That's where we cut the arm guys. We're back down this corridor. Come around. Obviously we've got that Star Trek corridor thing, so we can go all the way around. Nice and spacious. Feels right as well. Uh, I'm guessing inside each of these is customizable areas for uh, little crew cabins and whatnot. We've got the bar area. Uh, I guess a place to eat and drink. Omega's already here. <laughs> I'll have some Romulan ale. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here you go, sir. Ah, oh, thanks very much. <laughs> Moving back around, and we head back into the center and up the turbo lift to the next section. So here we are at the next level up. You can see some power conduits for something here, which is quite cool. These are the phases. Yeah, they are. Very nice. There's more cannons in place. Very nice. That's the lift coming up. And then this is the next one. Up again. Now you can see out of the back. Very nice views. Really nice views. And then coming around to the other side, you can see again the uh, faces, cannons. Go up one more time. And we're at the bridge. Now, this is like a double rainbow explosion because these additions really set off. Like, it's just a few slight texture pack additions. And suddenly, You've got, you know, windows. It just looks amazing. Mm -hmm. A few little differences here and there, and you've got yourself a really nice bridge. Feels like, you know, there's the computers, there's your walk core, there's your navigation, it all looks legit. It's beautiful. Coming out the back, we've got this here, which is obviously uh, Captain's Yacht or something, I believe. So, that's pretty much most of the interior. Was there a transporter in that I missed? Um, I didn't see one. I didn't see one. It's probably in here somewhere. I have seen power room and stuff below, but... Which also looks awesome. There's loads of room for one there, even if it isn't here. I can't remember yeah. where he puts them. See, he tends to put stuff in the same place. Right, so anyway, let's move on. So what we've got here is the um, turrets. So he's got the turrets docked, as we can see here. So they're kind of super docked through hull. And they clip through perfectly. Perfectly in place. So they're not really clipping at all. Uh, they're just perfectly in, in line. So he's built them right there. And you can see that they just sit nice and snug in this position here and it's probably one of the coolest turret designs I've seen mainly because it doesn't sacrifice the silhouette of the ship if you look here he's got more of them underneath and uh, there's more of them there's more there if you see there's little bumps in the dish they're all turret arrays which is really cool I love this design it's a really cool concept as you can see he's got one on top of the other here and then if you look how he's made it in the ship it's just perfectly in <laughs> Little blue thing so you can come in. They are serviceable. <laughs> You've got a door to go in and you can get at everything from here. It's a really nice touch. Um, so yeah, that is the uh, that is the latest refit of Guy Sun's Enterprise. You uh, want to see the weapons? Yes. Are you in the core? I'm in the car, I can shoot when you want. Fire now. Beautiful. Peace. Beautiful, I got a nice gift. Fire torpedoes. Fire on torpedoes.
it's the whole shebang. And it looks really nice. Just a few more things that we may have missed. The style of the struts. So if you look at the pattern that's being used here, it's a stagger one. We have a blend of side wedge, penters and tetras moving in a perfect, pretty much, diagonal line down. Slightly staggered. And then moving up, it's using this pattern. Which is really nice design. Looking at the front, we've just got the same thing, but more angled forward than sideways. Which is a really nice design for a, a strut come out, as you can see, it looks like it is going you know, that way, so very nice. I'm just going to make sure we haven't missed anything, so uh, really liking the use of these portholes, because as you come away, it really gives that dish, makes it feel like there's lots, you know, multiple layers in there. I love the port lights, it's legit. Uh, the choice of the lighting on the outside is excellent, as always. And the actual shape is just spectacular. Uh, you know, it's never been done with this much. You know, it's so true to the actual, the real deal, if you would. That it's almost like, you know, how much did it cost to render this in the movie? I'd love to know. Because <laughs> there, uh, it, there will be a charge <laughs> for it uh, somewhere. Someone got paid for it, and I bet it was a lot. <laughs> This is just outstanding. So there you go, that's uh, Geisen's ship. I think what we'll probably do is do some testing with it soon. But uh, for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.